What is going on, Panther Lair? I am coming back to you guys today to do another voice overlay in this likes and dislikes edition. This would be after Pitt's loss to the Virginia Tech Hokies this past Saturday. So we're going to talk about the impact that Grant Basile had in this game because it was huge. We're going to dive into a couple different parts here. But the first thing I want to look at is the three-pointers because Basile did go four for eight on triples. Uh, this was the fourth straight game in which he registered 20 or more points, he even fouled out of this game after playing 30 minutes, but he had a big impact here. And let's take a look at how that happened. So the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see an empty corner ball screen here. That's going to get, uh, Basile's going to flare and he's going to hit a three. Now, this is the one thing you think Pitt was probably going to be prepared for, uh, because Basile flaring off of ball screens as a good three point shooter was a likelihood. Now you're going to see Henson's going to go. Uh, two to the ball here, right? So he is going to be pretty much up to touch with the screen. He doesn't want Padula to turn the corner, but there's going to be so much help back here. Uh, I mean, between Burton recognizing his responsibilities as the low man and Federico that I'm not sure how long Burton sh or Hinton should be here. And I think that honestly, they could have just switched here. So, you know, Burton could have just switched on Padula. Now, I know you don't really want Cummings on a 6'9 guy, but at the same time, if Basile just flares out to here, there's not too much that he's going to do to put the ball on the floor again with a ton of help behind him. So Hinson holds for quite a bit of time and it's an easy three. That's his first. Now the second one, this is going to be the zoom action. So Pitt obviously runs this too. It's going to be Chicago because Mutz is going to roll off of giving the DHO and uh, Basile is going to flare out here. But again, one of the things that zoom is good for is it kind of knocks out help defenders. It also has, you know, a lot of communication that needs to be involved. So what ends up happening is two guys go with Mutz as he starts to roll Federico gets a little caught up here, and this is an easy three for Basile. Now the third one, and this is the one where it starts to get a little bit more complex, and we're going to dive into this in the next voice overlay, is that one of the things that Pitt struggled with is that Basile wasn't always just involved in direct ball screening actions. You saw that in Chicago or in Zoom, but that's a little bit more recognizable. Here, this is going to be a pin down. He's going to set for Hunter Couture, and then he's going to flare out here into this corner. Now, Couture is going to come up here, and he's going to kind of just immediately ghost flare out here. So he's going to kind of look like he's going to set a screen. He's going to ghost this, and then just flare out here, and this is going to create a double gap for Petula to drive into. Now, Santos and Federico here, and a lot's going to be on them as Federico comes down. So play this a little bit more. You'll see here comes that immediate ghost screen. He's going to flare out here. Now, what could happen as he goes to the corner is Federico is the best rim protector on the team. He should just bump Santos, who's a pretty good defender in general, over into the corner. Instead, they miscommunicate. And what happens as Padula starts to drive is Santos is saying Federico needs to go out here, stay with his assignment. Santos is going to step in, but he is getting pinned in here. And this ends up being a corner three to end the half. And then his fourth, th fourth three, again, this is going to be a little bit of creative zoom action. Remember, Pitt, Pitt ran the same thing. If you watch my breakdown after the UNC game, they run this zoom where um, Cummings will kind of come down, but then he'll curl uh, up here. He'll curl into zoom action going this way. You'll see that Virginia Tech runs the same thing. They just have the curl a little bit lower. So this will morph into zoom action right here the three player alignment this is just going to be kind of a zipper cut he's going to take this all the way through now again zoom is very good because it knocks out help defense and there's a lot of communication here so jorge ends up staying with padula but burton now switches i think uh I th wait, hold on, make sure we get the twins right okay so guillermo switches out of here on a uh couture but burton goes to here Jorge's already tagging this guy in. Nobody goes with Basile. And this ends up being a three-pointer. So I think one of the things that really hurt Pitt was that Basile was so involved in the screen game and not necessarily in the most traditional sense, which is just ball screens. There's a lot of times where he would flare off of what would become a ball screen or an off ball screen. He would do all kinds of things like that. And his influence was more than just his own shot. Uh, and you're going to see that here in the next video.